There are very few dogs in the world that can give off the prima donna vibe that the Papillon does. Their long fur seems like they spent two hours in front of a mirror before a night out with the girlfriends. And yes, we realize that there are male Papillons as well, but until they start looking like dudes, we're just gonna assume they're females. Papillon dogs have seen a variety of famous owners over the years. Marie Antoinette owned a Papillon, as does Christina Aguilera, Star Trek's Mr. Sulu, George Takai, and even France's own King Henry II spent upward of 100,000 crowns on his Papillons, leaving the French penniless to fund their national defense for the next eon. Viva la France! <laughs> Anyways, here are 10 facts about the Papillon. Number 10. They are one of the smallest breeds of dogs. This can either be the best news ever or the worst. It all depends on the dog you get. If you're trying to teach your dog to sit, fetch, terrorize the cats, or not take shits on your couch, then you may have struck gold as these fancy-looking pups will learn very quickly. But intellect can be a double-edged sword, because what if they're evil? You may have just bought yourself a diabolical genius who would get out of their way to eat your shoes, hump your legs, and piss on everything. And if you're one of those people who will say it's better to be pissed off than pissed on, then you should understand that in this situation, you may get pissed off because you got pissed on. <laughs> Number 9. Papillons are named after the stupid French word for butterfly. How weak is that? You buy a little dog and you decide you want to name him Rex or Killer or something fierce. Then you realize that no matter how masculine you try to make him, you'll always have to be faced with the fact that in the end, he's meant to be cute. Damn you French people in your elegant language. The reason this breed of dog got this stupid name is because of their ears, as they have a distinctive butterfly shape. It really takes away from the macho ferocity the male dogs should have. Number 8. No one knows where Papillons came from. It's a sad, sad story. There is no history that shows when or where these poor pups came from. Cue the sad, depressing music. Okay, you had your cry. Papillons are thought to be mostly descendant from Europe. As early as the 1200s, there were little bitch spaniels running around that looked a whole lot like the Papillons we know today. But it can't be confirmed, probably because the only ones who could confirm it died of the bubonic plague or some shit. Now, there are some people who try to say that these dogs came from Asia. They may be Chinese or Japanese because of the similarities to the Asian dogs like the Pekingese. But since no one can prove anything, they'll just have to be content with being the cutest bastards in the world. Literal bastards. Number 7. These divas are very photogenic. Throughout the history of the Papillon, people have taken to getting their pictures done with them. Of course, back in the day, it wasn't about taking selfies and all that. They had to commission literal painters to come up and do a portrait of them. Usually, these people were of noble descent and old as shite. They had the big dresses that looked like tents while their dogs just sat around looking stupid. If you want an especially boring afternoon and want to see some of the paintings that feature Papillons, check out artists such as Francois Court and Johannes Vermeer. I'm sure you'll have a hoot of a time. Number 6. Papillons are quite hyperactive. So, usually, Papillons are thought of as lapdogs. People want them to just chill with them while they watch television and stuff. And while they can do this, they can also get sudden bursts of energy and go absolutely apeshit. I mean, look at their faces. While cute, you can clearly see that the dog looks like it just ate three rocks of crack cocaine and snorted a line of booger sugar for good measure. In reality, these energetic beasts are incredible people pleasers. If they're learning a new trick or playing fetch, they want to make sure their owners are happy with them. It's this innate desire to please combined with their high intelligence and spunky nature that make Papillons a great companion. We'll go ahead and admit it. For as much shit as we give dogs, this fact gives us the warm snug wee fee wings. Okay, enough of that. Back to the curse words and insults. Number 5. Apparently, at some point, someone thought these dogs would be great for hunting. What the hell are these tiny dogs hunting? Usually, when you take a dog for a hunt, you're wanting it to track some wild hogs or bring back a bird you shot out of the sky. That's what hunting dogs do. But Papillons apparently hunted mice and rats in the past. Cats must have sucked some serious ass back in the day if people would use dogs to catch the mice instead of them. I mean, cats suck anyways. Always lying around the house sleeping, knocking things off the counters, and licking their balls while their legs are up in those weird positions that make you cringe. Damn! 
Stupid animals. By the way, if there are any crazy cat ladies watching, we encourage you to please get some help. Our 1-800-EAT-FARTS line was forcibly removed, so we've opened a new number for you to call. 1-800-CAT-BITCH Number 4. If you have a kid, then you should think about getting a papillon as well. If there's one thing that history shows us is that children and small dogs aren't always the best combination. Kids will throw them in the washing machines, try to ride them, <laughs> mistake them for stuffed animals and try to pull out the cotton. Yeah, it can get rather messy. But surprisingly, papillons are great with children. The dogs can actually be quite tolerant of the kids being insufferable shits. They're almost immune to their stupid antics. Even if there are other animals around, the paps will usually not try to eat them or anything. But it's important to keep the hyperactivity in mind. As they run around and go crazy, children can sometimes mistake their energy levels and fearlessness to mean that it's okay to play a little rougher than normal. Yes, this may be interesting to watch, but you don't want your kid to break your dog. So do what you're supposed to do anyways. Keep an eye on your freaking kids. Number 3. They may be small, but they're nearly indestructible. Despite their tiny midget-like appearances, papillons are actually quite tough and adaptable dogs. There was even talk that Marvel was thinking about making a movie based on papillons. However, they didn't do it because, well, it would have been incredibly stupid. But really, these superpower dogs can adapt to almost any environment. They are tolerant of both heat and cold, they're good in small apartments or 100 acre farms. I'm sure there was a member of the X-Men that had some sort of power like that. Number 2. The Papillon may just be an alias. Although the people in the United States know these stubbly little dogs as Papillons, what we have failed to realize for years is that these things are probably under witness protection or something. All across the world, these dogs have different names. In Europe, they're known as the Continental Toy Spaniel or Epinul Non Continental. They're also referred to as Squirrel Spaniels or Squirrel Dogs. What a sad life these little dogs live. Every name given them is either really stupid or… I have nothing else. All the names are simply really stupid. Number 1. For having all that hair, they need very little grooming. How many of you ladies out there are jealous right now? You wake up, put on about 5 layers of makeup and spend time doing your hair and all that. What does it take you, like a couple of hours or something? Papillons are different though. They just wake up, shake their fur in slow motion like they're in a shampoo commercial and look fabulous. It's probably the most similar quality to men that they have. We wake up, do as little as possible to our appearances and we're done. Maybe the papillon isn't as feminine as we once thought. And there you have it folks. What do you think? Are you gonna go out and get yourself one of these dogs? Let us know in the comments below. Also, we're giving dogs shit all the time. Want us to talk shit about your favorite breed? Like this video, subscribe to our channel and leave a funny comment below about your dog and breed. We'll pick a winner and upload an image or clip of your mutt in their selected breed video. Anyways, we'll see you next time. Yeah.